Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Kato and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today I'm making a super easy one layer card, it only took me 10 minutes to make and it's super bright and cheerful as well. So I am using my Misty for this but I have done this technique in the past with just an acrylic block so that works too. It just requires a little bit more patience and some finesse with your stamping. This beautiful elegant vase is from the Jane's Doodles Fresh Cut Flowers stamp set and I am stamping that in a rainbow onto my Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock. I'm working on an A2 sized panel today. To stamp this pattern out I just lined up the stamp with where I wanted my darkest vase to be, so that would be the purple one. And I lined that up slightly offset, so not uh, smack dab in the center of the panel. And what's so easy about using the Misty for this is that I can just shift my panel up or down, depending on which direction I'm going in, um, in the same increment every time, so I know they are nice and evenly spaced, and they are um, straight on my card as well. So between each time stamping it, I am cleaning off my stamp, picking up a different color, and then I can shift my panel up half an inch or down half an inch. And I'm simply using my grid mat for that, the grid mat inside of the Misty, but you can also use the lines or the measurements on the sides of the Misty, or if you're using an acrylic block, if you don't have a stamping tool, I would suggest you put a piece of purple tape or a piece of washi tape um, on your panel itself and measure out some spacing on there that would give you a nice guide on where to stamp each time. And this piece of washi tape or purple tape will also be a nice guide to keep everything straight and aligned on your card. Or use pencil marks if that works better for you. Um, that's what I did in the past. Usually I just marked out some pencil lines to figure out where to stamp my next image. Now once I've done the whole rainbow, I can stamp my sentiment. This is a nice big and bold sentiment from the Sweet Friend stamp set by Pinkfresh Studio. And I can stamp that directly onto my card panel. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink for this, and this is a really nice crisp black ink, so it will be really bold against all those rainbow colors. To make it even bolder, I will also clear emboss this. That's why you saw me prep my cardstock beforehand with an anti-static powder bag. This powder, this anti-static powder, just make sure that my embossing powder won't stick anywhere where I didn't put the ink down. I used a WOW Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder and heat set that off camera. And then I can just adhere that panel onto an A2 sized card base. You can also stamp this directly onto the card base. I like working on separate panels, but you do you. Now I adhered this on and it wasn't straight. I am checking it off camera, but it really wasn't straight. So I just took it off and I'll put some more glue on it and try again. That's the easy thing about liquid glue. If you, if you put it down a little bit off, you can just slide it into place, but I put it a lot off, so I can just tear it off again. This won't harm any of my paper, not my card base and not my card panel, and I can just glue it on again. I wouldn't be able to do that with double-sided adhesive. And to finish it off, I am just going to use some bubbles for this. I really like these because they're iridescent, so they will pick up on all the rainbow colors and give off some rainbow colors of their own. So it fits all my rainbow cards. I use my jewel picker to pick those up and I glue them down with Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And you know, I like making a matching envelope. I am going to repeat the design on my envelope. I'm taking a gray cardstock. This is a soft gray cardstock also by Claire Fontaine. It's from the trophy line. I will put that in the description below along with all my other products I used. And I'm folding that into an A2 sized envelope 
with my We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. I'm reinforcing the score lines and then I can adhere everything together and stamp my design on the back of it or the front of it. Is this the front of the envelope? I've seen people call this the front of the envelope. I'm confused. Anyway, I'm using some Pinkfresh Studio inks for this because I, they have really nice muted browns. And I'm using three of the brown inks. I will list them also in the description below. And I'm just stamping those with an acrylic block because that would be a lot faster than using my Misty again. You can see the stamp set off to the side, by the way, and there are some really gorgeous florals in there. I've used the stamp set a lot already, and I've only had it just a little while. So I went from light to dark on this envelope, and it perfectly matches my card. Again, this was super easy to make. I did start over, so it technically took me a little longer than 10 minutes to make this card. But I just got the spacing off the first time, and once I got the spacing right, it didn't take me much time at all. I hope you liked this card and this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.